are you average? And I'm not talking about in that way. In this video, <laughs> in this video, I want to go over the average age group from each age group going all the way from 18 to 45 plus. The reason why I'm stopping at 45 is because a lot of older people don't watch these videos. So I'm going to be breaking it down in segments that most net worth videos don't. So if you think you'll find any kind of value or entertainment in this video, then tap that like button for your boy and also go down into the description where if you use my link to sign up to the public app, they will give you a free stock just for signing up. And before we get into the actual net worth, I need to talk about how net worth is calculated in the first place. And that is actually a pretty simple equation. And it is where you take all of your assets and subtract all of your liabilities from them and then whatever is left over is your net worth i know everyone may not understand what assets and liabilities are so basically assets are anything that you own of value it could be stocks bonds real estate your home your shoes your cars anything that you own of value if you add all of that up into one number that will be your total assets and then your liabilities are any money that you owe or any debt that you have so this could be student loans auto loans mortgages personal loans any amount of debt that you would have to pay back to someone is going to be included in your liabilities so when you take everything that you own of value and subtract how much money you owe that remaining number is your net worth and then something else that i want to discuss before we get into this video this video is going to be talking about an average net worth as well as a median net worth now these numbers are supposed to be fairly similar however when you're talking about net worth there can be a big difference between the two so when i talk about average net worth i'm going to be talking about if you were to add up all the net worth of the people in a specific age group and divide it by the number of people in that age group so this means that if we took a group of 10 people and nine of the people had a net worth of ten thousand dollars but the last person in the group had a net worth of one million dollars to get the average net worth of this group we would have to take one million ninety thousand dollars and divide it by ten which would give an average net worth of about a hundred and nine thousand dollars but for obvious reasons this isn't the most accurate way to do it so that's why in this video i'm also going to be talking about median net worth as well and what median net worth is is that if you start with the person with the lowest net worth and you also start with the person with the highest net worth and then you start to work inwards until you hit the middle whatever net worth is in the middle would be the median net worth for the group so in the same example that i just gave if nine people had a ten thousand dollar net worth but one person had a million dollar net worth then the median net worth for the group would be ten thousand dollars which is a more accurate representation of what the net worth is for the group because the outliers tend to drag the average net worth way high and getting right into the first net worth age group this is going to be the age group from 18 years old to 24 years old and these are going to be the people who are just graduated high school to some of the ones who are just graduating college and the average net worth for this age group is twenty eight thousand seven hundred and seven dollars however as i may have talked about the average net worth doesn't really paint a good picture of what most people's net worths are in this age group so that's why i want to use the median net worth which for this age group is going to be eight thousand two hundred and sixteen dollars and honestly i think a median net worth of eight thousand dollars for this age group is still considered pretty high because at this point in your life you really have no assets you probably won't have a high income earning job and also unless you got some money from your parents you just haven't had the opportunity to build anything but debt so this age group is one that I feel like a lot of people have a negative net worth because the only thing that may be factored into their net worth at this time would be student loan debt, would be auto loan debt. You probably won't own a house just yet. And at the same time, I believe that the 22 year old to the 24 year old segment of this section is dragging the overall mean net worth a little bit higher. So don't feel bad for yourself if your net worth is negative and you're in this age category because it is very common because you haven't had any time to build any assets or to pay off any debt just yet. But now let's talk about the age group of 25 to 29 years old and the average net worth for this age group is forty nine thousand three hundred and eighty eight dollars with the median net worth being an even lower seven thousand five hundred and twelve dollars and if you are in this age group there's a few reasons why your net worth could actually drop after you reach the age of 25 so in this age group most 25 to 29 year olds are just now graduating college and just getting into their first job and because of this there seems to be an excess of spending within the first two years this is the time where a lot of people buy their first car their first brand new car at that which depreciates a lot in value this is also a time where people tend to enjoy their 20s by taking vacations they tend to go on a lot of trips and overall they just seem to enjoy the life after college and at this point as well is when people also have to start paying back their student loans which can absolutely negatively impact their net worth as well as negatively impact their ability to build wealth by buying assets so if you are in this age group a way that you can combat this decrease in net worth is to not go as crazy with spending early on i 
not understand that this is a time in your life when you actually have some freedom. You don't have professors telling you what to do and you don't have parents who can control you anymore. However, this is also one of the most valuable times to build wealth because you actually have some real money for once to invest. You actually have upwards of $500 to $2,000 to invest in the stock market. And if you start at the age of 25 to 29, rather than the age of 40 to 45, your net worth could be tripled or quadrupled by the time you reach that age. So even though it is fun to enjoy your money, I would say the best thing to do is do it in moderation so that you're not handicapping yourself in the future. But moving on to the next age group, this age group is going to be for 30 to 34 years old. And the average net worth for this age group is $122,700, but the median net worth is only $35,112. And as you saw, this still is quite a significant jump from the last age group. And the main reason for this is that when you get to the 30 to 34 age range, this is a time where you start to get more established in your job. This is a time where you may have experienced 10 to 12 years worth of raises, 10 to 12 years worth of paying off debt. And most of the time around this age is when people start to be more financially conscious and really start to be a little bit more responsible in how they manage their finances. However, one of the biggest reasons for this net worth jump in this age category is that around 30 to 34 is when most people start looking to buy their homes. And because most times you need a 5 to 20% down payment in order to purchase a house, by you purchasing your home, unless it immediately goes down in value, you will be immediately adding home equity to your net worth. So even though you are acquiring more debt in the form of a mortgage, the collateral that is your house offsets that mortgage and then adds a little cherry on top to your net worth, usually in the form to 10 to $20,000, depending on how much your house is worth. And obviously the average net worth took a huge jump in this category. And that is because the high earners are now starting to compound their wealth. They are starting to get into the business of acquiring more assets, more rental properties, more things that will build them wealth. And as you see later in this video, that compounding effect only gets larger. And the next age group is going to be from ages 35 to 39 years old. And the average net worth for this age group is $274,112 with the median net worth being $55,519. And as you can see, these numbers are really starting to get up. Now we are at the average quarter million mark, which a lot of people would love to hope to see in their lifetimes. And one of the reasons for this, as I'm going to really talk about later, is the same story of compound interest. You've also had 20 years at this point to pay back your student loans, to pay back your auto loans, so you don't have that debt handicapping you anymore. As well as at this point, you've probably had 15 to 20 years worth of 401k contributions that has been steadily earning you money in the stock market. And if you thought this was a big jump from the last age group, wait until we talk about the next age group. But now let's move on to the last net worth age group that I want to talk about in this video. And these numbers are starting to get a little bit outrageous and maybe a little bit less realistic if you're looking for everyday people in this net worth range. So the last age group is going to be from 40 year olds to 44 years old. And the average net worth in the United States for people in this age range is going to be $623,694. Now, as I said a lot, the high earners are pulling this number up. So that's why when you're trying to find out if you're average, you should look at the median net worth for this age range, which is $127,345. Now, these are huge jumps in both average net worth and median net worth. The average net worth increased by over $300,000 with the median net worth almost doubling in the same time frame. So why exactly is there a huge jump from the last age group to this age group? And I would say the answer to this is more compound interest. You see, compound interest is like the eighth wonder of the world. As you start to allow your money to work for you, over time, your money will continue to work harder for you and harder for you and harder for you until it's like a snowball rolling down a hill that starts a full on avalanche. So as you see in these later categories of net worth, for people who have been investing their money for 20, 25 years, for people who have been paying off debt and making financially responsible decisions, their net worth exponentially increases over time as someone who may not have been investing still does increase their net worth, but not at such a fast pace. So if you are someone who's looking to get their net worth in the 600, 700 million dollar plus range by the time they are 40 or 50, then the best thing that you can do is start paying off debt early. Start investing early and start building assets all the way at the age of 18 so that by the time you're 45, by the time you're 50, you can start to enjoy the benefits of those actions. Getting started investing is slow and getting started investing is quite boring because the days of investing are slow. You don't see your money growing very fast, but the years of investing are very, very fast. So while you may be waiting one or two years to get started, that is one or two years of compounding you're taking away at the very end, which could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. But with all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope this video sheds some light on how much compound can actually work in your favor if you just started investing early. Investing is actually pretty simple because the earlier you get started investing, the more money you could potentially make. So if you found value in this video, don't forget to tap that like button for your boy. And also as a gift from me to you, if you go down to the description and use my link to sign up to the public app, they will give you a free stock just for signing up. That's free money that you can take advantage of while the offer lasts. However, that's all I have for you in today's video and I'll see you in the next one.